I was recently wondering if I could take screenshots of websites without actually loading up a GUI and taking a screenshot of it. Um, so I started Googling it. First few things I found basically said, you know, write a script that opens up Firefox, take a screenshot, set your script to crop the image, blah, 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 and which is obviously not what I wanted. Some people even suggested getting VNC running to take a screenshot, which didn't make any sense to me at all, but I didn't really read all of what they were saying. Because I wanted to be able to do this on a server uh, that may not be uh, have a GUI interface, and I don't. I want to be able to run it while doing other things. I don't want Windows popping up and taking screenshots and doing all this stuff. So I continued to Google it, and I found a number of suggestions on different programs that do it. Um, but uh, those of you who watch my videos know that I always recommend, whenever possible, to use packages from your default repositories. Only go outside the default repositories of your OS when completely necessary for whatever reason you may have. Um, so there were two uh, that I found in the repositories that I like. One works better than the other. Uh, and we'll start off with looking at the one that doesn't work as well as the second one. So the first one that I tried was called um, WKHTML2 PDF. Um, if you're running a Debian-based system, it should be in your repositories. Use it and ins install it using um, Aptitude or Aptget or your software manager, whatever package manager you enjoy using, should be in there. Install it. I believe the WK stands for WebKit, but I'm just guessing there. And once it's installed, you type in uh, uh, WKHTML2 PDF. Even though it's 2 PDF, it can also do uh, images like JPEGs and PNG, which is what we're going to do in this case. Um, and type in the name of the program. We'll say HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. And we'll do google.com. And we'll say temp.site.png as the output here. We'll hit enter, you see it says it's loading the page, it's printing the page, it's not actually printing it to a printer, it's printing it to a file. And at this point we can display the image that we just retrieved and generated. From the site we retrieved and generated. So there we go. We got what Google looks like. Um, not the best quality, but hey, it works. Okay, so let's try a different site with that. We'll try my site, filmsbychris.com. My site's a little slower than Google. There we go. And we will display, once again, temp.site.png, uh, where we save the output to. Also notice that it didn't ask for confirmation for overriding the file. That's important um, to know that if that file already exists, it's going to override it. So make sure that you either give it a different name if you don't want to overwrite the original. So I'll display that. And hey, my site doesn't really look anything like that. It got the text, but it didn't get any of the background images. Um, didn't get any of the places where the videos are supposed to be. They're just big, white, empty spaces. There are other images on the page that aren't showing up. It's just that's not what my site looks like. Okay, let's try one more site with this just to see. Hey, maybe my site's just screwy. We'll say youtube.com. Send it to the same output. Loads. Take a picture. And we will display that. And yeah, got some of the images, but it's kind of jacked up looking and the quality isn't the best, although there may be options to change the quality of the output. But yeah, that's not that's not good enough. I mean, it works if that was our only option, but luckily we have another option here that actually works pretty good. It's called CuddyCapped, which is also in the repository, so go ahead and install that. And once it's installed, we are going to say dash dash URL equals HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. We'll do Google again first. And we will set the out. It's dash dash out. So the output file equals, and we'll put it to the same place. Also note that this one does also does not ask for confirmation when overwriting a file. So it loaded that page. Let's see. Oh, see, that's that's perfect. That is what Google really looks like. It's nice, clear. We can see everything. Let's go ahead and try my site. So we'll up arrow twice, go back to this command, and we'll say filmsbychris.com. Uh, and we'll go to the same output once it's loaded. There we go. We will display that image. And it made a very long, because my page is very long, but that's exactly what my site looks like. Yes, it doesn't load the screenshots for the YouTube videos. I didn't really expect it to. Um, 
I don't know. I think that um, probably some flash files it will load properly, just not the previews for these. But if you're just trying to get an idea of what the page looks like, you can see here it loads other images, you know, some of these Amazon things I have here. So let's try another site that has some flash on it and see how it looks. We'll do YouTube. Com. We'll do the same output, download, save, and display, A, and that's what YouTube looks like. Pretty sure this banner up here is probably Flash, so it does display some Flash stuff. And uh, these thumbnails here, it just the, the saved uh, shots, um, looks like it got most of the thumbnails, some of these ones below the main loading page. But the uh, majority of the time when you're going to be using this, you're probably going to be making some sort of thumbnail, so you're going to be using the top in a practical sense doesn't mean that you may not have a use where you might need the bottom. But this is a fairly uh, good screenshot of the website without having to load the GUI to get it. So you could mass search a bunch of pages if you need to and get screenshots of them and then view them quickly, um, which would be nice if for some reason you need to look at a bunch of pages to find the proper one. Uh, or look for something in a page visually. You don't have to sit there and wait for each one load. Run the script, have each output go to a different PNG file, come back later on and uh, look at them without having to wait for each one load while you're sitting there because you just scroll through all the pictures, maybe bring up a bunch of them at once. So anyway, I thank you for watching this video. I ask you to visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. Also check out filmsbychris.com forward slash Amazon. Uh, for to help support this site. If you buy stuff online, help me allow me to help you find the uh, products that you're looking for, uh, and I get a commission, and it doesn't cost you anything extra, and you help support this site. Um, so I thank you once again for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.